Welcome. In this short video, we're going to show you how to copy your RootsMagic database from one computer to another. So for example, if you bought a new laptop or a new computer and needed to get a copy of your database onto that other computer, we're going to show you how to do that. Now I'm going to assume that you've already installed the RootsMagic program on that other computer because what we're showing you is how to get your data over uh, the program you would just install it the same way you installed it on your first computer. Okay, so in order to get started, I'm going to go up to the File menu and I'm going to come down to Backup because we're using a backup to copy our file from one computer to the other. So I'm going to say I want to make a backup of this database. RootsMagic is going to offer a file name, but the important part is this section right here where am I going to save this backup? And I don't want to save it on my computer here. I want to save it to that flash drive that I can take to the other computer. So I'm going to click on Browse and RootsMagic will open up your Windows file folder so that you can go select your RootsMagic uh, or the, the flash drive that you're going to copy your RootsMagic database onto. So in my case it happens to be this removable disk J. I'm going to select that folder and RootsMagic is now showing me that's where my backup is going to go. So I can say begin the backup and RootsMagic is going to create the backup and say the backup is complete. Now I can actually, I'm going to bring this over here just so you can see this. This is the Windows folder and I'm going to actually uh, show you that uh, the backup was actually created on this flash drive just so you can see that it's actually there. Okay. So now I am going to actually go ahead and delete this file. I, I can't do this demo from two different computers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this database right here. Okay, that database is now gone. Okay, that, it's gone. Now, let's say that this is my new computer. So I've, I go run Roots Magic on my new computer. And when I bring it up, there's no database. I want to bring that database from the other computer. So I'm going to go up here to File. I'm going to say I want to restore the backup. And so I'm going to put the flash drive in to my co new computer. I'm going to click on restore. And again, I'm going to browse. I need to browse and go select that flash drive. So I'm going to go find that flash drive on my new computer, uh, uh, the flash drive that I've just plugged into my new computer. And I'm going to see that backup that I just created. So I'm going to select that file and I'm going to say open it and then I'm going to choose where I want RootsMagic to put this database on this new computer and I'm, I'm fine with right there I'm going to go ahead and let it put it right there and I'm going to say begin restoring the backup and it's actually saying that I've actually already got a file with that name um, if that's the case you well you you wouldn't have that but I'm going to go ahead and do that you wouldn't you wouldn't already have a database at all on your new computer so I've just restored this onto my new computer. Now at this point, uh, my database, all my data, my names, my dates, my places, my sources, everything has copied from that other computer to this one with one exception. And that exception is the media items, the pictures, uh, things like that that you've linked to in your old on your old computer now if you haven't uh, worked with pictures if you haven't added any pictures to people or anything like that uh, on your database you're done at this point you're done you now have your database is on your new computer on the other hand if you do have pictures on that other computer then you have one more step because you have to bring all of those pictures from the other computer and put them onto this computer so that Roots Magic can then link to the pictures on this computer. So I'm going to show you a trick on how to do that. Okay, let's say that this right here is your database on your old computer and you have some pictures and um, you want to get, find out where all those pictures are. Well, unfortunately, when you link to a picture in Roots Magic, it just links to wherever the picture happens to be. So when you say I want to add this picture, Roots Magic just links to that picture. Now if those pictures are scattered all over your hard drive on the other computer, 
you're going to have a hard time finding where they all are. Now I'm going to show you one thing. If you want to see where they are, what you can do is you can go into the reports and go to lists. And there's a list called the multimedia list. And you can select that and create that. Just choose everything. Leave everything checked. Generate the report. And you'll get a list of all of the pictures or media items you have and where Roots Magic thinks each one of them are. You're going to see the full path name for each one of these, where Roots Magic thinks that picture is. Now, if the picture isn't actually there, if Roots Magic's linking to the picture, but that picture isn't even there, you're going to get something like this. It says not found, and you're going to have to figure out where that picture actually is. Okay, let's go ahead and close this here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, though, how to get all those pictures that were scattered all over into one place so that you can more easily copy them onto the flash drive to move over. What we're going to do is there's a, under tools, there's a feature called create a shareable CD. Let's go ahead and do that. We're not actually going to create a CD, um, but we're going to use, use this as an actual tool to collect all those pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. I don't actually have to fill any of this stuff out. I'm just going to click on next. Don't have to fill anything out. Don't have to preview it next. Roots Magic right now is collecting all of that information. It's collecting all of those pictures and putting them into one place so that it can put them on your CD. And you'll see right here, it says the files for your shareable CD have been created in the following folder. And so there's a folder right there where all my, all my data and my pictures are. So I'm actually I'm going to leave this up so that I can see that. I could just write that down, but I'm just going to leave it up so that you can see it. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to that folder. So I want to go to, first I want to go to the C drive. So I go to the C drive and then users. So I got to go find users down here and there's users. Then I'm going to go to Bruce and in your, on your computer, unless your name is Bruce and you happen to do that, if that it's going to be a different name. Then it's, mine is in Dropbox. So I'm going to go down here to Dropbox. And then it's in RM data. So I'm going to come down here to RM data. And finally, it's in RM shareable CD right there. Okay. Now, when I go to this folder, this is actually my database and everything, but there's a folder here called pictures. And I want to go into that. When I go into that, this, in this case, there's only two pictures on this in this file, but these are all, going to be all the pictures that you have linked to from your database. They may have been scattered all over the, all over your computer, but at this point, they are all stored right here in this one area. So what you can do is just click on one of them. It doesn't matter which one. Just click it to highlight it, and then on your keyboard, hold down the Control key and press A. Control A. And what that does is that says select all. So that is going to select all the pictures in this folder. Once you've done that, make sure you've got your flash drive listed over here on the side. And you're going to want to make sure you've got enough room for them. And then just click and drag and drop to your flash drive. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to copy this file? And I'm going to say yes. And, and I actually could say yes, do this for all items. Now, it may or may not say that. It kind of depends on what version of Windows you happen to be using. Um, but if it does say that, go ahead and say yes. And now, when I go to that removable disk, I have not only my backup of my database, but I have all of my pictures. So I can just take this flash drive over to the other computer and open up the file, the file folder and copy, drag and drop them the same way from my flash drive onto my new computer and I can leave them all in the same place. Okay, now when you do that, I'm going to go ahead and say I'll burn this later so that I'm because I'm not actually going to burn a CD. Now, when you copy all of those pictures onto your other computer, you're going to end up with things like this where it may or may not show you an image of the picture, a little picture here, but it'll have a big red X, meaning Roots Magic can't find that picture. If that's the case, you're going to want to use a feature called Fix Broken Media Links. And what that is, is under Lists, you go down to the Media Gallery, and you'll see all your pictures. 
and under tools you'll do fix broken media links and we've got another video on how to do that so you can go see the details in that video but that is how you can use the backup feature to copy your database from one computer to another computer.